I'm here at the Lit Bar to kick off the 48th year of Bronx Week, where Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. will be announcing the three honorees for this year's Bronx Walk of Fame, Class of 2019. Who needs Barnes & Noble? We don't need a savior. Bronxites gathered inside the newly opened Lit Bar, the only bookstore in the Bronx, to begin their celebration of everything that makes the Bronx a great place to live, work, and raise a family. What I uh, love about Bronx Week is that we celebrate everything good that has happened and continues to happen in our borough, like the Lit Bar. The Lit Bar earned its spot as a prime location for the kickoff event for Bronx Week because it served as a true testament to the Bronx's tenacious and thriving nature throughout the years. One Bronx Walk of Fame honoree, Iran the Blade Barkley, expressed his excitement over the positive changes in the Bronx. We had abandoned buildings and burnt out buildings and everything was smoked out and, you know, because those are the days that gangs and and, and everybody was hanging out and, and drugs was real rampant then. So it, it was bad just to see it now. I said, wow, we, we came a long ways. The Bronx has also come a long ways in their tourism industry. This year, the Bronx Zoo received the Tourism Award, where Executive Vice President of Public Affairs for the Wildlife Conservation Society, John Cavelli, acknowledged a growth in visitors at the Bronx Zoo over the past years. We're at about uh, 2 million visitors this year. It's been an exciting period. We've had some incredible ex experiences over the last several years, new exhibits that's opened up. While they were not able to attend, the honorees for the Bronx Walk of Fame class of 2019 also included Grammy-nominated singer and songwriter Regina Spector and Dr. Carolyn Porco. In terms of the uh, honorees, they embody and exemplify everything that we want to preach and teach to our young and future generations. Bronx Week events will continue until May 19th, where Bronx Week will come to an end with a parade on Mashaloo Park. Parkway. For more information on all these events, please visit ilovethebronx.com. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran. We're here at Shanghai Red, the newly opened restaurant located in the heart of Westchester Square. They're serving as this year's sponsor's lunch and host for the opening of Bronx Week. So every year what we do with Bronx Week is we have a, it's a closed event, it's just by invitation only, and it's, we call it the Sponsor Appreciation Luncheon. And this is the opportunity for us one-on-one -to, -on -one to say thank you to our sponsors and, and to let them know how much we appreciate all that they do. When Marlene brought it up to me that she wanted to do it here, I was thrilled. Um, it was something that we were, we felt was something that would put us on the map, sort of get people into our restaurant to really see the type of cuisine that we have for the first time and really just expose us to different businesses from the area. So Bronx Week, of course, is celebrating all things Bronx, all wonderful things coming out of the Bronx and all of the wonderful things being created in the Bronx. For example, this wonderful restaurant we are at, we are um, supporting our sponsors. These are people that just really make sure that the Bronx Week uh, goes off without a hitch. So we're just having a great, great time and looking forward to uh, 10 whole days of Bronx Week. You know, the borough president, his leadership with the Bronx um, has really just been outstanding in terms of his support for public higher education, CUNY, Bronx Community College. And Bronx Week's just, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you look at where we're at today, it's a great restaurant, the luncheon, all the sponsors, and it's a it's a fun you know, it's a fun week for you know the whole community to get together and to really celebrate you know our lives as Bronxites with a lot of friends of ours. Well, Goya, we love the Bronx. You know, we've been in the Bronx since 1936, and like I said, there it's hard to find one store that doesn't carry our products. So we love to support the people in the Bronx. We love to support Ruben, and we're just glad to say that we're present here for Bronx Week. You don't want to miss out on what's in store for you for this year's Bronx Week. So to stay posted, just log on to ilovethebronx.com. For BronxNet, I'm Veronica Guiti. Today celebrates longevity for a group of Bronxites. 96-year-old Lavinia Madison couldn't help but dance. What is your secret to saying that? Well, I usually exercise 
and I do a lot of walking and, and I eat healthy. At my age, I love to dance. Bronxboro President Ruben Diaz Jr. presented the 8th Annual Centenarian Celebration at the Villa Baron Catering Hall, which kicked off Bronx Week. The kickoff begins with these young folks behind me. We have 17 centenarians and 51 people over the age of 90. And the reality is that when you look at the Bronx, we've had our highs and lows, but these are folks who have persevered. These are, this is the population here that really embodies everything that we are as Bronxites. Paying homage to Bronx's forefathers and mothers was the goal of the event. Jose got emotional about today. He's choked up. Yeah. He's very grateful to be here on this most special event. I don't have a secret. It's the Lord just blessed me to get here. You can call that an age-old approach to life tested by time. The centenarian celebration is day one of Bronx Week, and there's more on the calendar. For more information, visit www.ilovethebronx.com. Reporting for BronxNet, Ashley Tiffany. It's National Mom Night Out, and the ladies from Trendy Chaos and Bronx Mama have put together an event that are putting moms first. Me and Janine got together, and she's hosted Mom's Night Out before, and I thought it would be a really fun idea to kind of join forces and do something fun for all the moms in the Bronx. So where better place than Bay Plaza, which is, you know, a night of shopping, a night of, you know, nails and massages. So it's just a fun night. You know, we had a lot of asking, do we need to get a sitter? And like, yes, you do, because you deserve it. Thursday before, uh, before Mother's Day is actually National Mom's Night Out. And it's that one night that we are forgiven to just celebrate us, to celebrate all that we do. Because on Mother's Day, we're usually taking care of our mothers, our grandmothers, aunts, and everyone else. So this is our one night where we all just come together and celebrate and pamper each other. Self-care was definitely the theme of the night and all moms took full advantage. We're mothers, we work hard. We have to have a night to enjoy and, and definitely like meet new people and do stuff. Networking is awesome, especially when moms. So no guilt. Because we're tired <laughs> and children are tiring. They're lovely, lovely creatures and without them we wouldn't be moms, but they're tiring. And so we really, I, I think we lose focus in taking care of ourselves because we focus on taking care of our families. And so it's extremely important that we remember without us taking care of ourselves, we can't take care of them. It's okay to just take care of us and love ourselves. It's been the ultimate gift before Mother's Day and these women have had a blast. As I always say, us moms definitely know how to make it work. For Bronsonet, I'm Veronica Guiti. The 21st annual Banker's Breakfast left attendees feeling full, not just of waffles and maple syrup, but also full of knowledge about Bronx businesses. Speakers speculated about the economy as a whole, which for some can be a big bite to chew. But the board chairman of the Business Initiative Corporation for New York said the focus was on the Bronx. Everybody has a stake in, what, in the success of the Bronx. So pulling them all in, letting them know what's happening and how to help it grow, continue to grow is what we're all about. One of the business owners that attended the event was the owner of the Bronx Native, a clothing and art brand that celebrates the borough for its beauty and strength. He said he was excited to meet people that have such an impact on his business. I come from a creative background and, and media and stuff, so for me to be here um, is, a, is a must, right? Because I need to connect with people that are compatible with me, that can help me out with the skill sets that I don't have. So, you know, just making it happen, meeting great people, and making it happen. Boom. The Bankers Breakfast welcomed their keynote speaker, the president and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He was able to share his thoughts about the future of the economy. Well, the good news is the winter has ended. The day Days are getting longer, the sun is out, um, not only in the Bronx, but more generally. Uh, we're seeing the tulips and the cherry blossoms flower, and the economic uh, outlook is getting similarly rosy. It was business cards and bacon here at the 21st annual Bankers Breakfast, 
as the Bronx Week festivities continue. Reporting for Bronx Set, Gracie Matisse. What better way to kick off Bronx Week 2019 than with a game of softball as fathers, uncles, grandfathers, and male role models competed with their kids in a friendly seven-inning, two-team organized softball exhibition game while also running a health fair in recognition of the annual Health Day event. We spoke with Marcus Payne, a member of the Bronx Fathers Taking Action Committee, about the importance of the event and about the committee's goals. This committee was formed to endorse and encourage fathers to play an active role in the lives of their children. So we can have a presence in their schools and we can encourage them to have a presence in their lives. This is a health fair going on, so we're going to get you active. We're going to get you out of the 962 mindset. You get out here, you work out, build up a sweat, and you do it with people that you won't forget. That's your friends and your family. That mindset that Payne highlighted is in reference to the Bronx being the least healthy county in all of New York State, ranking 62nd amongst all New York communities. According to Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr., a fun day outside on the diamond with Bronx fathers and their family and friends is a major step towards addressing the issue of bodily health and maintaining a healthy family dynamic. Number one, I want to make sure that we're healthy. And that's what this is health day. Number two, so go to all of the providers and get yourself checked out or get information. I want the Bronx to continue to move forward as a family. Not only as a big Bronx family, but make sure individually that we're all handling our business. The Father and Child Softball Classic took place on Patterson Playground, which boasts a junior baseball field, basketball, volleyball, tennis courts, and a running track where some of the Bronx's most avid runners could cut loose, an opportunity that running groups like the Boogie Down Bronx Runners and Bronx Soul urge Bronxites to take advantage of. We are a running group based out of Pelham Parkway and Wallace Avenue, um, close to White Plains Road. And um, we run Tuesdays, Thursdays, and uh, Sundays. Tuesdays are open run, everyone's invited. Into their technology that we try to get them to unplug. So when we run down the streets, kids are on their phones and then they're looking up wondering like, what is this, what's going on? And then some of them just start running with us. With Bronx health sponsors such as Montefiore, Health First, United Healthcare, amongst others present, Bronx sites were able to get free screenings, job info, and wellness tips. Abdullah Mohammed of Montefiore provided useful information for Bronx sites looking for jobs in the healthcare industry. Health professional opportunity grant, yes. And it's for home health aides. People who want to get trained for four weeks to become certified by the state of New York and we job place immediately and it's all free. This was an event where everyone's a winner, regardless if you were a participant in the softball game or simply picked up useful health information. The goal was to enjoy a beautiful day out with family while promoting fitness. Reporting for BronxNet, Stephen Powell.